Welcome to Infi Minutes. In this video clip, we will discuss two important processes that take place in any uh, frequency modulation system. These are called P-emphasis and D-emphasis. P-emphasis takes place on the transmitter side and it's reverse uh, operation which is D-emphasis that takes place on the receiver side. Let us try to understand why do we need a uh, pre-emphasis first. In FM signal, we know that the effect of noise increases as the frequency of the modulating signal increases. That means uh, if you measure the effect of noise on low modulating frequencies, it will be less. But if you measure the effect of noise on high modulating frequencies, the effect of noise will be more. In terms of an example, if I consider, let's say, 1 kilohertz of modulating frequency and measure the effect of noise uh, in the form of, let's say, signal to noise ratio. And if I now consider a 5 kilohertz, kilohertz modulating frequency and if I measure signal to noise ratio in that case the signal to noise ratio will be much better for the frequency of 1 kilohertz compared to frequency of 5 kilohertz the signal to noise ratio at 5 kilohertz will be very small and this simply tells us that the high modulating frequencies will see very large effect of noise on them now how do we uh, solve this problem the problem is that the effect of noise is not uniform throughout the frequencies if that was the case we would have increased we would have tried to increase signal to noise ratio for all the frequencies equally but here the problem is the signal to noise ratio is good at low frequencies but very less at high frequencies so the effect of noise is not uniform on all the modulating frequencies. So how do we solve this problem? The simple and obvious solution to this problem is we will have to increase signal to noise ratio only for high frequencies and we will have to not worry about signal to noise ratio for low frequencies because at low frequencies the effect of noise is already very less. So to have constant SNR, uh, to, to have same SNR for the entire frequency range, let us see what can be done. Uh, because the effect of noise increases at high frequencies, it is very very obvious that to keep the constant signal to noise ratio, we'll have to increase signal power also at high frequencies. In simple words, when we take modulating signal and before we give it to any FM modulator, we will have to increase the amplitude of higher frequencies in the modulating signal. So we need a circuit which will increase the amplitude of higher frequencies in the circuit and comparatively it will keep the amplitude of lower frequencies without much of a change so that the signal to noise ratio at lower frequencies is its original value something that we uh, have designed it for but at high frequencies because the effect of noise will increase we are increasing the amplitude of the higher frequencies also that means we are increasing signal power and hence we will be able to achieve constant SNR for high frequencies. So in short in summary we need a circuit which will give high output for high frequencies and less output for low frequencies and this circuit can be implemented in the form of nothing but an high pass filter because we know that high pass filter is a circuit that passes high frequencies in simple words, it gives high output for high frequencies and less output for low frequencies. 